Hey everybody, we're back. It's the same day, man. It's the same day. I, I had such a fun time on that last one. Let's have another one here today. Uh, look at that. That's day. Hey, look at him. Good old Deadman McMillan boy right there. Good look at him. Good old Trana boy. Keep your stick on the ice, kiss. Right, it's like a really bad impression of Don Cherry, who is uh, so famous within Canada that it's insulting that I was about to try to explain who he is, but I'm sure he is essentially unheard of. Um, if you're not in Canada, every Saturday night, the Leafs play. Unless <laughs> it's the playoffs. Um, during the first intermission, there used to be a segment during the show Hockey Night in Canada, which is kind of like, you know, it's like Monday Night Football for Canadians, you know? It's very well trafficked by, you know, television standards. Uh, everybody that I knew growing up watched it. Hey, did you see the Leafs game? You know, if, if you were a little kid, it was considered like, um, you know, if you got to see some of the West Coast teams play, it was like you were you were staying up late. It was a thrill, right? If you ever got to see the Oilers play the Flames. Um, anyway, like, I'm getting too deep into it. But uh, every uh, first intermission, this guy, Don Cherry, and his uh, business partner, Ron McLean, would get on and show clips of stuff. Don Cherry was a, uh, a, a septa than octogenarian wearing, like, unbelievably loudmouth uh, suits. And then he would just play clips and be like, look at it! Get up! You can't do that, kids! Look at this! You can't do that! You do that! There's no place for this in the game! Uh, anyway, he got fired for... Um, I mean, I was gonna say perceived xenophobia, but I mean, it's the same. I mean, like, did you perceive, like, uh, if, like, a bird crosses your path and you see it, is that perceived or is that written, you know, on the blockchain of life? I don't know. Um, he also, for, for anyone out there that doesn't watch, uh, Hockey Night in Canada, you may know him. I believe he played a hockey coach on one episode of the Goosebumps television program, because all those shows were, for whatever reason, made in Canada. Um... I don't think that benefits us at all. I wish it did, but I don't think it does. Now, what does benefit us a great deal are mega bombs, which basically ruin your life. Hey, would you look at that? Not bad. Did this say the lamb? Are we going to the lamb on this one? Is this a lamb situation? Is this lamb based? One day I will come. You know what? Actually, hold on. Drops all your pickups on the ground. I'm like, if 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 there's a way, I like check this out. So it is the lamb. What if we got enough money to drop a quarter and then used our D6 to re-roll it? Like, let me, let me look at the text here for a second. Thank you to the modders, by the way. It'll spawn quarters or bomb pedestals if possible. But that's kind of messed up because I literally... Oh, what a shot, man. I just... I sure at least staring it there. You ever see Prometheus? Anyway, what a shot. One good shot deserves another. Um, I'm just thinking that, like... I picked up Mr. Mega because I was like sick, five bombs. Then I'm really going to have ten bombs and like use it as a reroll opportunity? I don't know. I guess we at least got the value out of the the Mega bombs while we waited here. And like if we did it on a deal with the devil and rerolled, maybe we could maybe we could leverage our position somewhat. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Excuse me, turns half consumables? When coin, key, and bomb count are equal, turns half consumables into double consumables? Okay, so now you know what I'm thinking, is like, I'm, I'm going super auto pet style. <laughs> auto pet style, hey. So like, we could... I think at any given point right now, we could double our consumables. You would pick everything up that you had. Don't touch that for a second, I'm scared. You would pick up equality, fool card, uh, tainted fool, I should say. Don't don't all close in at once, please. Leave the room, re-enter the room with equality, and then all of your consumables would have you'd have more of them. Are you joking me? I mean, I I can't because I need to keep my uh, reroll active for for Lord forgive me what I'm about to do. Soul of Eden. Hold on, Soul of Eden re-rolls all pedestals and pickups in the current room. Honestly, you're like kind of a piece right now. So I'm gonna like lose my mind. Um, don't do this. 
I'm stupid, but it's kind of funny. So now I'm like, okay, hold up. Drop this down on the ground. Grab this. I'm. I think I'm uh, like giga braining myself a little bit here. I don't think we're gonna use our reroll pedestal play with the fool. What I think we're gonna do is use this as an opportunity to double all of our consumables. And I, I think this will work, but I could be wrong. You do that, they're already doubled. Okay, that's that's beautiful. But if I leave and re-enter, I thought maybe the pills would be doubled. All right, maybe that was a little ambitious. <laughs> this does re-roll all pickups in the room, which is also kind of sick. I'll be honest, like we don't really want equality long term. So we did, we got nothing out of that, is that correct? <laughs> we literally, we did that for no purpose whatsoever. Um, anyway, maybe it was a little too giga brain for me. That's fine, it happens. Like, I, I'm not a huge fan of that, but we'll soul of Eden ya. And then um, the other part of this, I guess, is that maybe we'll ignore our deal with the devil now that we don't have a reroll and we'll just go for deals with the angel instead. Don't even get me started on the soul of Lazarus. You want me to take a solo Lazarus? I laugh in your face like Kanye West on late registration. I'll say, ha ha, ha 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 ha. I'll laugh in your face. I will. I'll do it. I'll do it. Don't you tell me. Look at him. Look at him. Good old Vancouver streamer. Hey, I don't like the way they do coffee over there. Six dollar cup of coffee is ridiculous. But hey, look at him. Look at him. Good old Canadian. Hey. Okay, sure, why not? HP up, tears down, FU, paralysis, basically FU. Two bone hearts, okay, luck up. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be a hater about that one, thank you. Hey, what if you gave me like a tears up? Just throwing that out there. Dude, I'm screw it, I'm going for it. <laughs> tears up damage down. Woof. Woof. At least we got a death touch. There's something to like there. But man, oh man, this is not great. It's not great. Well, I don't know, maybe it's fine. It's not that much worse than our last run was, like, by the time we got to the depth. So maybe I shouldn't sweat it too much. Anyway. Sports, man. Don't even get me started on sports. If you're a fan of the Las Vegas Golden Knights, just freaking continue to enjoy yourself, okay? Just, enjoy, just have a good time watching the sport that we all know and love. Because it's just a game and it doesn't matter that much. That being said, it mildly frustrates me that you got Jack Eichel. Like, is there not supposed to be, like, a... Like, a, a isn't there, like, a like a legislative rule in place so that, like, I, there's, like, one... Hold on. I'm going to make, like... The, I'm going to make a tweet, okay? So here's... here's And I'm going to do it right now. And if you don't watch hockey, this is not going to make sense to you. So I'm going to go to the Explore tab of Twitter. I'm going to find Sports... I'm going to find the Jack Eichel. I, here we go. Jack Eichel. There we go. And then I'm going to find one that says... Uh, just give it a second. Here, here we go. Official. The Golden Knights have acquired Jack Eichel. And then I'm going to type... The Actually, the league has a rule where one team can't just hog all the fully loaded players there you go this little i think you should leave plus uh plus the nhl there don't don't worry about it too much so there, i look i don't think that one's gonna pop off i know like I've, I've really stopped sports tweeting like i i do now and then i'll tweet like good game or like we're at the game or something like that but there was a time where i was like you know live tweeting the playoff games and stuff like that's just not necessary you know, you know what really wised me up is, like, seeing other... And you can tweet whatever you want. Who cares? But, like, you know, I realized that maybe that stuff was better served just for, like, my own internal commentary. So I'd see other people tweet about, like, the NFL, and they'd be like, Come on, you got a pass there. You got a pass. Third and 13, and you ran the ball. Like, do you even want to win? And I, and I was just like, I don't even know, like, what you're watching. So, like... I don't follow you for that. I follow you because, uh, you know, you were on Comedy Bang Bang once or something like that. And then, you know, that's... So I... Sports tweeting is... is got, if you find a group of people that, you know, like reading your sports tweets and 
and you like to sports tweet, then don't let me stop you. Um, I, I believe that it exists. I see them interacting from time to time on Twitter. I kibitz. But if you're just like, if you're not known for the sports tweets, don't let me stop you. I'm just saying, you know, the percentage of your followers who are like, oh, I really want to know what's going on with the Buffalo Bills right now. It's like 11 p.m. in Germany. I followed you for Rocket League content, and all of a sudden, you know, you're talking about Borussia Dortmund, and I'm like, I don't even know what you're talking about, man! Not that there's anything wrong with it, I'm just... It depends on the... I mean, that's an interesting way to think about social media, right? You think social media is a place... Like, is Twitter a place where you should be, like, on 24-7? You should only try to tweet jokes? Like, I'll be absolutely 100% honest and a little rude, um, which I know you're, like, excited about now. Um, I think genuinely from, from you know, watching, like, from hearing his podcast and from watching him on TV for a long time and from particularly watching his remotes, you know, where they travel around and go to different places in the world and do little... Uh, shoots there. I think Conan O'Brien genuinely is like one of the funniest people that I mean he's retired now I guess but that has worked in television and particularly when you know every late night show was like top 10 reasons you OJ Simpson shouldn't be your next babysitter or something like that um, you know he, he was doing some I mean not all of it was amazing but you know there was a there was a decent amount of like fun stuff that he was doing that I think was very clever um, and we're gonna take the red key just because it's fun. Uh, but like Conan O'Brien on Twitter is just always making jokes, and like ev every single tweet is just like a setup, setup, setup. And then if you thought that was bad, here's the punchline. And I'm like, ah, Conan, come on, man. I get it. You're like, you're old school, kicking it old school. OS for life. But still, like it's I don't know. Maybe I, I like it's boomer enough that even as a millennial boomer myself, I cringe a little bit. This AF. But I also, like, whenever people that I follow, like, for professional reasons are, like, extremely personal on social media. And they're like, sorry, I haven't been live lately. I've been too busy, like, crapping my pants ten times a day. And I'm like, oh, man, I didn't need to know that. Come on now. You could preserve. I mean, don't let me tell you how to live your life again. But I wouldn't want to tweet that. I would want to preserve some dignity. I would, I would feel like that, for me, I would be mocked for... Crapping my pants 12 times a day. People would, even when I got better, people would be like, Remember that time you crapped your pants 12 times a day? And I'd have to be like, Come on, guys, that was serious. I guess we're going in. Oh, no! <laughs> Loki's horn, man. I got Loki's horn. Oh, no. Look at my tear effect, man. I'm going to jail. Okay, okay. It's very simple. <laughs> it's not simple at all. It's like the most complicated thing I've ever seen, man. It's crazy. Okay, so... Um, get away from me. There's a lot to think about here. Okay, first off, what's this? The Hierophant. It's two bone hearts. Look. I'm a little... What are you doing? We got rubber cement too. No, 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 no. Hold on. We did find the secret room though. Okay, so what do we need? Basically, like a tear effect that cancels our existing tear effect or explosion immunity or just be the an absolute freaking cracked gamer. Why am I here? Rubber cement. Oh no. Rubber cement is not making this any easier. Even if it is a freaking cracked Beatles album. That's Robert Soul. I know that. It's a joke. Take a choke, but don't talk. That's what I've said uh, every time I listen to nothing but a G thing, baby. Any enemies here? Any enemies here or just me? I still have like some, I wouldn't say 100% confidence. Sure, why not? But I still have, like, a decent degree of confidence that we're going to win this. It's just going to be a little scuffed for a bit. The Bone Hearts are actually a pretty nice help. But there's lots of, like, deals with the devil that can sort this out for us, man. Eye of the Occult. There's, okay, you know what? Let's go grab a Bone Heart here. Eye of the Occult is an option. 
even though it might seem a little strange. Um, there's there's plenty of plays, man. There's not, I mean, it's not infinite, but I think there's a chance, at least. In hindsight, I kind of wish I just took Squeezy. I'm using a bomb to get this because I can't be trusted to use my Ipecac shots wisely. So every bomb is actually, like, pretty precious. You know what else? We, we could just get items that grant us some invincibility. That would also work. You know, if we got, like, a unicorn horn. Even a Book of Shadows. Actually, Book of Shadows would be pretty freaking sick, man. Please? There we go. Sure. Yeah, all right. Yeah, okay. We didn't lose our bone heart. We didn't get a deal either, though, which is a little rude. Any other plays here? Uh, Bueller? Okay, uh, we'll be leaving now. I'm not thrilled about our opportunities here, but let's give it a try. No, thank you. Oh, uh, yes, thank you. Secret room has been found. I repeat, secret room has been found. Blood of the Martyr is fantastic. It raises our damage by 2.5%. Very exciting. We're in the walls. Dude, I always get... So there's parts of your house where you can get in the walls. And I'm not trying to be like Charlie from It's Always Sunny. Genuinely, okay? But, like, I always get freaked out, right? So I open... Oh, come on, man. Come on, man. I open, like, our laundry room door. It's not... I mean, it's just, like, a laundry area of our bathroom. Um, well, at least there's HP to be found. And then I, like, uh, open this little, like, pocket door that leads to our washer and dryer. Um, sure, just kill me or whatever. Um... I, I wish our luck stat were not so high. This is too much. There's... I can, like, see into the wall. I don't know if that makes any sense. I don't know if... If... What I'm saying... Is coherent... <laughs> or... Or whatever. Um... This is just driving me crazy, man. Um... But, like, what happens... The honest question. What happens... If your cat gets into the walls, what do you do? Because, like, I, it's so narrow. There's no chance that I could fit back there. It, like, literally, it, you'd have to be, like, Ant-Man. Um, so, like, what the heck do you do? Do you call somebody to get the cat out? Do you just shake a bag of treats? What I always worry is, like, what if a cat got, like, behind your washing machine, but then it was, like, it couldn't turn around? Don't get me wrong, there, I understand there's why there's the expression, curiosity killed the cat, right? Like, uh, we're constantly just trying to make sure that our, our cats don't, like, end their own lives by just being like, Hey, what's this? Oh, it's the stove, you know? Like, I open the oven door. They're like, ooh, what's that? Absolutely beautiful bomb. Okay. I'm telling you, there's a chance. We're giving it our all, that's for sure. Honestly, I'm like, with rubber cement, if we stand right against the wall when we take a shot, I think it minimizes our odds of taking damage. Because with rubber cement, the shot bounces off the wall. Don't, honestly, screw you. Wait, hold on. You piece. The shot bounces off the wall. Ergo, it does not hit us. Now, this might not come to pass forever. Oh, my God. But it seems to be working okay for the time being. Um, honestly, I think as much as I've been having actually not only a good time, but also good luck, we kind of need Red Candle. It'll minimize the amount of times we have to shoot Ipecac. Which can only benefit us. You know, I will absolutely take a look. Judgment spawns a restock machine. Very nice with the deal with the devil coming up. I'm still... I'm pot committed to our, our backward strategy here. Just put your back to the wall. You gotta, you gotta watch only one side. Oh my god. Mission, mission failed. Mission failed. Mission success. Dude, this is kind of sick. I think we're coming up with bold new strategies here. Sure, whatever. Now, we don't need to be greedy. We, we could also just play it a little slower. 
Or could we? I don't know. We got both. That's huge. How did that not hit you? Like, just be honest. You're cheating. Not today. Don't ruin your 100% devil deal chance. That's a necessary part of the combo here. There you go. Tank him. Tank him. Don't jump. Don't jump. Beautiful shot. This red candle's not quite as good as blue candle, huh? I'm, I'm learning this. Oh, we still got it. We still got it. We lost our eternal heart, but we still got it. Okay, thank God. Uh, speed will actually be quite helpful. Thank you. Experimental pill? Sure, why not? Shot speed up, speed down. All right, well, screw me, I guess. Thanks for literally no value whatsoever. Oh, we got one penny, huh? Let's blow this up. All right. You know what? They keep giving us some avenues. <laughs> it's not perfect, but they keep giving us some, some avenues here to make it work. Enemies at range. We got a little candle action. You got to stop shooting, man. And yet here I go shooting. Enemies that are close. Oh, did you see that shot? Like, okay, th this is just honest appraisal. Old NL could do this, which means new NL can do it too. This, you know, a little out of practice, but that's okay. You know, Sack Dagger has been made worse by virtue of its enhanced rotational speed. So be it. We know we gotta fight this room. Perfect timing. Let's go. Let's go. That's not... Enemies explode into tears on death, which inherit the effects of Isaac's tears. Literally not possible to use. Actually, like, kind of a sick joke. I can't believe, like... I was so excited to see Ipecac too, because... You know what, though? This is just real talk. We're just really talking here. This is more fun than the last run by far. I'm a little stunned at your perceived inability to die. Owned. But like the last run was just a slog, even if we won. This run on the other hand is like, I mean, it's entertainment galore. This is entertainment tonight. HP, I'm realizing, starting to dwindle just a touch. Not sure if you've noticed it as well. Um, certainly would not mind checking this. Judgment. What is judgment? We saw it last time, right? So it's just, literally saw it last floor. <laughs> Restock machine. Okay, that's good though. Restock machine, that's good, man. Call Alton Brown. Somebody call Alton Brown, because that's good eats. Let's go. Okay. Okay, look at that. Look at him. Look at him. Good old classic Isaac run here. Look at him. You know what would actually be incredible? Is if somehow... Uh, just hit me. Okay, sure. I guess I'm not going to go that way. Um, it would be if we like, got like Genesis. You know, to redraft all of our items. We got some great item pools here. We just need to get rid of... Literally... Loki's horn... Would do it. Rubber cement probably also would okay we found a crawl space it would help it's the relic okay that's just cruel <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that the relic gives us a chance to live a little bit longer no question there absolutely okay we're about to fight mom it's a pivotal moment in any young man's life okay my bone heart wasn't even paying attention. I was just thinking, how am I going to get in there without shooting? Got a little greedy. Four HP. Nice try, you piece. You think we're going to get a deal with the devil here? I'm just realizing. I, I pinned some of my hopes and dreams on getting a deal with the devil here. Starting to realize that might have been a touch op optimistic. Hey, we, la we landed one. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, who saved? Don't forget, you got bombs. That's that's huge, man. No! After all that. 
I'm, I feel like John Wick right now, for real. Beautiful. One more. One more. One more. Just let's just do it and be legends. We're supposed to fight the lamb, right? <laughs> it should be easy. <laughs> we're actually toast. Like it's over. Let's let's while we're here, let's do a tweet watch, okay? How do we do on this NHL tweet? Uh, it's 135 likes in 16 minutes. I gotta say that, like, honestly, by NHL Plus, I think you should leave standards. That's pretty good. I mean, I think you should leave is, is pretty popular now. It's I, I would say it's grown beyond cult status to be, like, a known quantity. A known entity, if you will. Like, I was listening to Comedy Bang Bang yesterday. I know it's the second CBB reference in... in or mentioned at least in in one episode here please and they were talking about how sick it would be if they could get santa claus to do like a a, a christmas movie where he sings the blues and then they went on i was like this kind of sounds like that tim Rob tim robinson sketch with crashmore and then they were like you know this is getting uncomfortably close to that tim robinson sketch where santa claus is an action movie star and i was like hey that's dude we're we're like i mean not the mainstream but <laughs> I think you should leave is really, it, I mean, it's it's known, it's, it's and it does so well on Twitter accounts, man, for sure. The hot dog car was just a gateway drug for so many people. We're all trying to find the guy who did this. Whoop. Sure, I guess just kill me or whatever. Uh, never mind, I'm living forever. I'm telling you, like... We can still make this. What's the game plan? Well, it would be nice if Red Candle wasn't pure doo-doo, but I guess that was a recent change. Um, that's some information that would have been important yesterday. Wedding Singer, Adam Sandler clips, .mp4, The Wedding Singer. Um, help, help me. Okay, I'll just die then. I lived, thanks a lot. Um, we beat the boss. After beating the boss, without getting hit, I might add, we get a deal with the devil. It's about a one in five chance right now. Okay, I'll just die instead. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. It was a fun one regardless, and I'll see you next time. See ya!